Hello and g'day. Today I'm here to show off. I'm going to show you a digi paper that is a painting that has been done by Angie. Now Angie is the creator and the owner of the Mountain Girl Studio. Now this is side A of the digital paper. So she's done the painting and then she's scanned or photographed the painting and made it into a digital for you. So this is piece A and this is piece B. I've used piece A to cover this little lock box. Angie is running a challenge and it's on right now. I don't mind being challenged, so I picked out this paper to use to make my little lock journal box. What I've done is I've combined abstract, which I, oh, I don't know, is it abstract or not? I'm sure Angie will correct me on that. So I've combined the two together. My love of vintage and I also love this style of painting. This particular page is called Hand Painted Mixed Media Digital Paper Number 27 Set. It's the front and back cover set. You can buy one side or the other side or you can buy both sides as a set. And another thing I do like about this is that it's for personal use and small business. So if you wanna make this up, like I've made this box, I can sell this box and I've got the license to do so because I've paid for this digital print. One thing for sure, you'll see nothing on my channel that hasn't got a license that's for personal and small business use. Because for me, there is no, no use whatsoever if you can't buy a, a kit, whether it's one page or 20 pages, and you can't make something and then go and sell it either at your local craft stall or just on your little Etsy shop. I'm gonna show you this, and then I'll let Angie fill you in on the channel. So I'm gonna put the link below for you. You've got until the 20th of November, so you've still got plenty of time to enter. So head over and check out the details. I'll put the link below for you and tell her Donna sent you. Okay, let me show you this little box. I'll start from the outside. The flower is vintage. It is quite a different color to what the paper is, but I wanted to make something that was not so matchy-matchy. The flower is quite sheer. It's some of the edges are not glued down, so it's a little bit 2D, I guess you call that. It's glued over some tea dyed medical gauze, and it's also around the edge of the box so it's actually an underlay under this panel here and here and here around the edge here so it sort of gives it a little bit of interest so that it's not it's not over it's not overkill you'll probably notice when i make my journals and stuff that they're quite understated so it's just a little bit peeking out there I've also used brass decorative fittings, this latch closure at the front and matching hinges at the back. This is my own personal locket. So it goes on here, but it's the wrong color, right? It, it's silver, it's a silver locket. So whoever ends up with this box, I suggest that you get a brass or a gold type of little locket to go on there if you want to put a locket on it. It's no big deal if you don't put a locket on that. But how cool is that? The inside is lined with leather. So that's leather on the lid and it's also got leather 
on the inside. The box itself is also handmade. I've had this box for probably 20, 30 years. Uh, not 20, definitely 30, maybe 35 years. Used to make it with two compartments. So this can be a jewelry box. It can be for playing cards. And what I've done for today is I've made it with a little mini journal. And that's why I've called it the lockable journal. So the journal is made using the same papers and it's just a mini journal. It's, it really does suit the box. It goes with it quite well. I've put a Tim Holtz book plate over the top of this black leather and used gold finger so it will match in with the painting. I've used a piece of sari silk to tie the journal closed. It's not on there permanently. It's just got a little pocket at the front here and a tag on that. Again, I'm trying to mix the vintage with the printable. What I've done there is I used the lighter part of the paper so I didn't have too much of the purple. So it just was a bit subtle and it just blended in nicely. I've cut this pocket here, the shape of the tag, and that is so that I can just stick that on there so that is like an invisible pocket and you can still put something behind it i've also made a french letter that can either sit in here in the box so that goes with it and i've got a little lace hanky that looks pretty cool with it too this doesn't go with the box but you could put something like that in it if you had a little hanky in your stash and you wanted to make it look you know reasonably authentic i think that looks beautiful but that goes with it and the little journal goes with it it's a naked journal you can write in it i, I wanted something that if you did want to write your thoughts down you could write in it so we've got a homemade uh, vellum and I've just made put a print on that of a, a blueprint and we've got coffee dyed paper and a print on deli paper coffee dyed paper vellum that's a shop bought vellum this is a an old vintage bird a pattern page coffee paper this is a paper that's used to separate the sheets when you've got a photo album and this is a vintage astro astrology page. And that's a writing page. And the same on the other side. That's the astrology page on the other side. Identical on the other side. And I've just tore an old page out of a vintage book and put that on the back. So to tie it up, it's just a loop. There's not a lot to tell you about this other than, than uh, it. I did make it to enter the challenge that Angie's got going. And it's, you know, no, I didn't want to make a journal this time around. I thought like a big journal, I thought I'd like to make something a little bit different. So that's why I just made the box with a smaller journal in it. They can lock their journal away, keeping it private. You can also use this as a jewelry box. You can take your journal out and put some jewelry in there. Entirely up to yourself. Well, thanks for making your beautiful artwork available to us, Angie. If you feel like entering the challenge, just pop over to Angie's YouTube channel. She'll tell you all about it. It's something that's quite open. You can make whatever you like. You're not limited to making a junk journal. I'm Donna. Thanks for watching and bye for now.